Hi guys, and welcome to Ray Space. This is another part of my studio. This is my drawing table. And these are my drawing utensils. I've got um, some charcoal, some more charcoal. I've got some graphite pieces. Oops. Oh, that was close. And a crap ton of erasers because you need those. You know what else you also need? Pencil sharpeners. Pencil sharpeners. I think I have more in here too. So what I use to draw, um, these are tortillions. These are blending tools and they are amazing because then I don't have to get my fingers and hands dirty. Plus they're more precise. And you got a ton of different sizes here. Just a bunch. Just, I could just keep going. What did I have a bunch of tortillions? I actually had to get some new ones. Again, more erasers. And also, I cannot believe I discovered this way too late in life. I even worked at Michael's. Oh, when was that? 2007 to 2011. And they did not have these. I know for certain. I think I found these on a whim and I lost my mind because I thought it was genius. This is an eraser in the shape of a pencil and you can sharpen it and it's rubber and it erases and I love it. So I have like five of these. Uh, yeah, of, you know, I've got the normal different pencils, graphite pencils, I've got the tortillions, and then I've got the erasers. Also, um, <laughs> when you're erasing, uh, and you want to get the bits off of your page, I have had, uh, I tried, I try to blow it, but I've had spit come out, what, you know, I'm not saying I slop them, you know, just, anyway, um, so I use paintbrushes to kind of, you know, brush the bits away, but the brush still gets lead on it, and it still smears. So, I actually got a couple different things I just found recently. Um, this is an erasing shield. I thought it was pretty nifty. I thought it would definitely come in handy, especially when I'm trying to erase um, smaller, small freckles. I erase too much or what have you. I could use this. Um, Um, so, if anyone has any ideas how I can erase and not smear the pencil while I'm trying to get the eraser bits off, please tell me. You know what might work? I don't know. 
Yeah, sure, I've been drawing my whole life, but I don't do it very often, and I'm not up to speed with the, the tools to be used. But please let me know if you guys know of any. Tell me. Tell me. I would love, love to hear it. Um, yeah, so I've been using brushes to kind of get the bits off so I don't smear it. Um, yeah, okay. So, oh, and I have a lot of rulers. I need the rulers. Gotta have the rulers. Um, but okay. Let, let us dig right in to my drawings. just wanted to do a little bit of show and tell today. This is one of my sketchbooks, my latest sketchbook with my drawings in it. I mostly have actually all the pictures in here are portraits of people, namely celebrities. Uh, I'll just warn you ahead of time most of these celebrities are supernatural actors. So, I guess let's just get right into it. I got this particular sketchbook about 10 years ago. I don't have a whole lot of drawings in here, but the ones I do have are like Okay, so the first one, you'll notice how the first few are not going to be that great, in my opinion anyway, they're not going to be that great. But let's start with the first one. Okay, so it looks like uh, in April of 2013, I drew a picture of Tom Hiddleston. I, I don't know if I want to say if I was obsessed with him, but I, I loved him for a very long time. <laughs> and this was about when it started, after I saw Thor, actually. Um, yeah. So, that's okay. Um, the next one is... Uh, uh, I don't like it a lot. In fact, I uh, didn't even date it, but I suspect it was also in 2013 or 2014. Um, but I tried to draw Jared Padalecki. Um, Yeah, I don't know. I wasn't crazy about it. But you gotta keep drawing. Okay, um, but this next one I actually really do like. Even, what, 2014? Um, what, seven years later? Um, so this one I actually got signed by the actor himself when I went to um, a supernatural convention in Atlanta when they were here in 2016. So this is Jensen Ackles. I 
was, I was definitely proud of myself for this one when I drew it. I love the eyes. But yeah, there's, there's his signature. And okay, so the next picture is also Jensen Ackles, um, but this was a photo manipula that I found online, but I liked it, so I drew it. Someone just photoshopped Jensen's head onto someone else's body, but I thought it was, I thought it was cool. I really enjoyed the hands and the folds of the shirt. I mean, of course, Jensen's face, obviously, but I'm just I really, I really like that hand. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, so that's another Jensen Ackles. I did that in February of 2015. Uh, this. Okay, so this is a, a self-portrait. <laughs> I took a funny selfie of myself and I, 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 don't, I don't really honestly know what provoked me to want to draw it, but there's me given the Elvis lip. I don't I don't want the pages to uh the pencil to rub on the, oh, I guess it doesn't matter if I don't have anything on that page but just what I've done, so I just leave it. So this one, I'm really a fan of. Um, so of the Supernatural Boys, Jared is my favorite. And when I had him sign this, I left the, his table just in happy tears because he's such a fucking sweet guy. Um, but I went up to him and I placed this in front of him and he was like, what, what is this? Who did this? And I was like, I did it. And he goes, no way. This is fucking cool as shit. And I was like, thank you. I was like, you should write that. And he was like, I don't want to mess it up. And I was like, believe me, you are not messing it up. So he wrote cool as shit. So this was uh, from his Always Keep Fighting campaign, 2015. This one also, again, the folds were really fun to draw in the veins in the arm. Yeah, that was a fun one. And, you know, it's Jared. Doodles. I don't need to see the doodles and sketches. Oh, um, this is another Jared Padalecki one, but it's it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. There's there's him looking melancholy. As Sam Winchester. Okay, the next one is also a, a supernatural actor. Um, since I was getting autographs at the Atlanta Supernatural Convention that I went to, um, I got Misha as well. So I found a funny picture of him. It was actually a picture I found in someone else's photo op. Um, I don't know why it was his face and the flower crown that really got me because the flower crown was really fun to draw. And just his facial expression. 
I love it. Look at those eyes. He's funny. When he went to sign this, he was like, whoa. He was like, you drew this? I was like, yeah. He was like, shouldn't you be like in a studio or something? And I was like, what? I was like, no, I'd rather be here. <laughs> Misha is funny. Speaking of Misha. Um, I've, I've been to probably like four supernatural conventions. And another one that I went to, um, me and a couple of friends were asking all the guys what kind of cologne they wore. <laughs> And we ask Misha what kind of cologne he wears, and he says he didn't wear any. And I look at him in the face, and I was like, you don't wear cologne. And he looks at me, and he's like, fuck no. I was like, <laughs> I was like, Misha just said fuck no to me. It was the best thing ever. Yeah, he's funny. Uh... Doodles, I don't need to see that. What do we got? What do we got? Okay. Um, yet again, another supernatural actor. Uh, got it signed at a convention. This is Rob Benedict, who plays Chuck on Supernatural. He was, he was really nice, too. Actually, I've met him a few times, because he, um, he has a band named Loud and Swain, and they're really great. And I've seen them several times when they come here to Atlanta. But he's so sweet, too. So I was glad I got that. Okay, so this next one, surprise, surprise. Uh, I did one drawing for the three of them to sign. And I found this, um, this funny photo they did um, in a magazine. I think it was one of the entertainment magazines. It's just a silly, goofy photo and it was actually really fun to draw. There's them being silly. I don't know if you noticed, but I did a slightly different style on this one. Um, I really like this area for some reason the hand and his jacket and of course you got Jensen's face and Jared and Misha being silly boys but yeah I got all their signatures on that one uh, let's see what else do we have okay so the next one is not a supernatural actor um I did get it signed by the actor um, at Walker Stalker. And oh my god, talk about this actor. The fucking sweetest. He was so sweet. He's just a big teddy bear. Norman Reedus. He liked it a lot. <laughs> he was like, this looks more like me than some of these photos do. And he signed it. I guess I, I never finished it. I didn't date it and sign it, but it's okay. It's okay. Some of my drawings uh, have an unfinished sort of, like, I don't know if you remembered the Misha one earlier. Um, I don't know if I just lose motivation because I did the most important part or if I'm making ex excuses, I don't think I am, but I kind of like the unfinished look. Mm. Something about it. I like it. Even though this probably would have looked better filled in, but it's okay. And... Okay. So while, uh, I don't remember when this one was, I want to say it was 2018 or 2019, you know what, it might have been 2018, anyway, um, this next actor, I 
um, someone told me to watch the Umbrella Academy. And I did, and it was awesome, and I fell in love with Klaus. Um, so this is not Klaus, but it is the actor who plays Klaus. I found this cute picture of Robert Sheehan. Look at those eyes, look at those eyes. Those curls, mm. Yes, so I did that one in September of 2020. No. And then, believe it or not, I only have one more. And I re actually just finished it maybe a week or two ago. So, there was a year and a half in between drawings. I used to draw a lot when I was little. In fact, I don't remember a time when I wasn't drawing. I always had a pencil in my hand. But as I got older, um, in high school, I, I, uh, realized that I could paint. <laughs> Didn't know that, so I started painting a lot. So the reason why there's big gaps between these and there's, this isn't filled as much is because I'm still doing art. I'm painting, though, so I do have a lot of paintings. I probably should draw more, though. So, this latest one is an actor from a TV show. Um, the TV show is Shadow and Bone. And this man plays the Darkling. And I'll be honest with you, I jumped on the Ben Barnes train a little too late in life. But there's the one I've recently done. I feel like I could have done better, but I tried not to be too hard on myself because I haven't drawn in over a year and a half, so I can't just, I can't pick up where I left off and expect me to be a pro at it. So that's why I think maybe I should just keep, just keep going, keep drawing. Um, but the thing is, about my drawings, let me get this. is that uh, I can't I can't just draw anybody. It has to be somebody that I have like an emotional connection with. Even if it's a fictional character, you know, as long, I just need to have that passion for the actor or the character. So that way I can put that into my piece. I don't I don't I, I, I guess some artists might be like that. I guess that's why we're considered moody, but I really should discipline myself more, honestly. But, yes. So, guys, that is my sketchbook. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks guys for joining me in my sketchbook show and tell of all of my fictional boyfriends. Um, let me know which one you liked, which one was your favorite. Yeah. Um, what I will do is actually, um, I'll do another video where I show the beginning stages of, of a new drawing. So I'll have to find another person to draw. And then we can start from the beginning and I'll show you guys how I do that. And we'll go from there. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you later. Oh. That wasn't necessary, was it? 
Bye.